Duty Noble Field on a Friday evening. Mississippi State hosting number six Arkansas here on week eight of the Southeastern Conference baseball season. Or doesn't get the call. Now you see Smith wanted to work the bottom part of the zone to Diggs. Ball hit pretty well, carrying to right, carrying to right and gone. Orphan comes in, just hammers a pitch to right field. He gets out of the park. And the Hogs jump on front early here in the top of the first. He knows he wants to throw strikes. Hunting that fastball, got it up and out, extend those arms, and uh, there you go. Well, Two that's, zip. And that's the thing, Matt. We've seen Kate Smith working down in the zone. That time left one up, and Borfin made him clear. Do we want him? Elite level talent, no doubt. It's just pitch efficiency. He had a he had a four inning outing recently, over 100 pitches. So you know he's when he, when he in front of it. Ooh. Man. Now so Hagen Smith carves up Marshawn. Arkansas has the shift on, has it played perfectly, throw to first in plenty of time to retire Hunter Hines. We played one. The Hogs lead it 2-0. Returns early look good for him. So. Well, stays with a breaking pitch. And there's a ball hit well, but the catch will be made in left field. And there's a ball hit to the left. Dakota Jordan's got to come and get it, and he does. Well, Jordan's first step. Nice breaking pitch from Cade Smith, and after giving up the two-run home run in the top. Well, let's see if that one hit the back foot of Amani. Anybody hit a guy, and that's Amani Larry who runs it first. And there's the walk, and now the Bulldogs two. There's a ball, it's gonna find a spot on the right side, gets into right field, and the Bulldogs will get Amani Larry across the plate. And the two out hit from Colton Ledbetter pushes a run across for the Bulldogs. And there's a ball flared out behind the bag at second, but Holt over to grab it, and that'll do it for the Bulldogs here in the bottom. Slavens, the first baseman, hit one. Hard to first last time, it's another hard to first. Hancock makes the play. Well, the first kind of shuffled to the back of the lineup and to the bench, but he's played well and he hits a ball in the right field for a base hit. But with Cali, it was like once. Well, elevated that time, got the chase. So the bill had fouled off a single, but since that hit by a pitch, Hagan Smith he struggled to find his release point, misses it second, but now behind 0-2 here. I think he just got hit by a pitch, and he did. Night in, night out, an SEC play. Alan Smith just rears back with a fastball, strikes out all for trying to pitch out of trouble. He's almost there. And now he finishes it. Alan Hagen Smith pumps the fist, gets the strikeout. Alan Highfield. Perhaps in the umpire. 3 2. Misses. And now the two of them. Well, it's a little strike. Runner goes, trying to take third. Highfield is going to be thrown out. So Bulldogs test the arm of the catcher, Roland. I'm not sure why, if you, you've got Highfield running, I'm not sure why you wouldn't have. Yes, the Bulldogs had a couple of board. Start the fourth, couple of to start the fifth, but the base hit from Ledbetter back up the middle. And Mershon, who is running on the track of the bat, will get his way around the third base. And that one, though, gets away. And Mershon comes in to score, and we've got a tie ball game. Well, the rarest of rare ways to uh, score a run against Arkansas is one getting past the catcher. Well, he does, and he throws it past Dakota Jordan and gets the strike back and throw a fastball. You might expect otherwise. Goes breaking wow. pitch, and a good one. And gets the strike out and strands the runner at third. We're tied at two. We go to the sixth. 
And there's a the ball. It's going to be hit out in the center field. That's a base hit. Ledbetter over to pick it up, get it back to the infield. But Ben McLaughlin, the designated hitter. There's the ball hit into right. Kellen Clark going back, going back, looking up. It's gone. Slavens just crushes a ball out to right field, hit it into the teeth of the wind. But the harm of the wind, no harm to Slavens. I mean, first pitch just turned on it and got all of it. He knew it. He knew it also. Well, that's the third time today that Slavens has hit one hard. That's the first time he has anything to show for it. And there's another. Bulldogs had him shaded up the middle with Larry, the second baseman, but just like he did last time, Callie just crushes one. Gets under that one, and it's going to be popped up into the outfield. Ledbetter is going to call everybody off. Make the Adcock, the right-hander, the big junior out of Texarkana, Arkansas, 6'4", 210. Oh, ball hit over to third. Callie's got it, throws across, no problems. And, and that ball is going to be hit out in a ride, but Diggs has a beat on it. Nice breaking pitch, gets the strikeout, and that'll end the Bulldogs' opportunity here. Made him pay for him, but the guy was resilient. Here's a ball hit well into center. Ledbetter's got a turn and run, but it's going to have room as he gets to the warning track. Attaboy. Congrats to Julia. Here's a ground ball to short. Rashawn's got to come get it. Flips across. And Cheatham fires the side in order here in the top of the seventh. Wood, the freshman. Out of Batesville, Arkansas, and this will be the 18th time that he has taken the hill for the Razorbacks. And fastball in there, and that's strike three. That's a strike, just paints the inside part of the plate. And he went around, and that's going to be a strikeout, and that'll end the threat for the Bulldogs. Here in the bottom of the seven. Insurance here in the top of the ninth, five, six, and seven, and Cali. Going to send a ball down into the right field corner. He's thinking, too. Clark's picked it up, but Callie will get into second base ahead of the throw. Nick working on the hat trick, and he's going to bunt it. Third base side, Alford gets throws just in time. Hold on, second baseman, Amani, three tonight. We'll have a chance. That ball's going to get away, and that's going to let a run score, and Arkansas has added an insurance run. After the sacrifice to move the runner to third, and then the pitch that did. misses, and that's a two-out wall. Right, throwing down to the Bulldog bullpen. That one's outside, and that's back-to-back -back walks. And now, nice job just putting a ball in play by Diggs. It's going to get into right field. That's going to score a run. Well, he just went down and got that one, and. Bulldogs couldn't get the got away with it. Well, and Hunt's going to record the strikeout, and that'll end the inning. Ball just hit out in the left field. The bill comes and gets it, and there's one down. In the strike zone, but not in the heart. Ground ball left side, backhand in the throw. Big time play by the shortstop Bolton. Easy too, didn't he? He's already shaded over there just a little bit into the hole. A little slide step, come up, throwing. 3-2 runs inside, and the Bulldogs will have a base run. Strike three. Took it. Just went with a fastball, and Wood gets the strikeout looking of Ledbetter, and that'll do it here tonight. Arkansas, the 6-2 lead over Mississippi, 6-2 win rather, over Mississippi State. Yeah, looking strikeout to end the ball game on a two-hit night from a three-man pitching staff.